Hey everyone, coming today with another exciting video. A couple uh, months ago, we did Zoho CM for insurance brokers and it was a really popular video, still is one of our most popular videos, but we're gonna take it on a slight spin. And this time we're gonna focus on commercial insurance. So we get a lot of feedback, but this is great, but how do I customize it to my specific type of insurance? And so that's what this video is about, doing it for those people who do commercial insurance. And so what this is gonna look like, or break it down into really four steps that we're gonna walk through. One is kind of lead and prospecting, which will be all very similar to first video. Second will be collecting that information from your clients. Third then will be taking that information and sharing it with your different carriers or insurers. And then finally, four, taking that information presented to your client, getting feedback, and then finalizing which carrier or insurer you're gonna go with. As always, please do like, comment, subscribe. As you're watching the video, we'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't already, join our inner circle. We have a ton of great tools in there. Our top recommendations for partners, recommended Zoho extensions. They'll really enhance your experience. And probably our favorite part is our toolbox, which is gonna have a ton of resources, stuff that we've taken a decade to accumulate. We normally charge tens of thousands of dollars if you want to use it through our one of our projects, but it's available to you through this inner circle. So check it out and I'll see you in the video. So welcome to the video here. This, like I said, is gonna be, at least for the beginning part, somewhat similar to what we did in our previous video. We're gonna have a link in the description if you haven't seen it, but just for those who haven't seen it as a quick recap, this is kind of the homepage, fairly straightforward. Things that we recommend really, regardless of what type of insurance that you're looking at. So these being your active prospects. So we're gonna actually start there. What's renewed in the next 30 days? Active policies, so things that I'm actively working on that have gone past the prospect stage and I'm actually, you know, quoting it and that's gonna be very relevant for, you know, the commercial process. And then finally, you know, where are all of my policies that I'm working on? So kind of a visual representation of that. So not gonna go into a ton of detail here because that's not the meat of the video. We'll jump right into kind of that prospecting side of things. And so where we'd like to do that is in the contacts here. So, and again, for those who haven't seen the first video, you know, some people say, oh, well, in Zoho, I have these leads and contacts. Our recommendation always is to just do everything right within contacts. What it does is it creates a single source of truth. You're not checking two places. If someone was a contact, but then they're interested in new policy, they're not sitting in two different places. You have this single source of truth to manage all of your leads. The nice thing about this and what we recommend is to create different views. So like what we've done here is say my active prospects. And so this filters down to people who you're actively prospecting, not people who you've maybe done in the past. And if you wanted to see exactly what we did, did it's pretty straightforward, right? Is that the owner is myself, I'm the owner, and it's in one of my kind of active stages of need to contact, they contacted or attempted to contact. And honestly, you probably should put in attempted to contact too there as well. And so now I have a very laser focused vision of, or version of my contacts, but specifically for prospecting. And you can see, yeah, each of these different columns is kind of a step throughout that prospecting journey. So from not need to contact, attempted to contact, contacted in progress, quoted, that's when you're kind of doing the, the policy, getting quotes, and then either won or lost. And so what you usually do is people start on the far left column, of course, need to contact. What we recommend again is to maybe integrate with your Facebook, your website, really anywhere where you get leads, we can almost always integrate with that. And that's what we recommend for anybody who's doing this is integrate it so that anybody who's, again, maybe writing into your website, is gonna automatically appear here. So that's what, let's say, Sandra Bullwhip has done here. So she's written into the website and said, hey, I'm interested, and you can see she, commercial type policy, and specifically, I'm in the manufacturing industry. I can see Sandra there, and of course I could open it up and I can see a bit more details about her phone number, her email, you know, different things like that. And I can also expand these details and I can see, okay, well, kind of her target premium, when she's expecting to have coverage start or when she needs it to start. And then as I scroll down, just other interesting things like address, uh, other contact details, preferred language, total premium if I've done business with her in the past. You know, it's all right there. And as I start to scroll, there's just other kind of interesting things like, the notes, policies, emails, all these types of things will kind of build up as you're interacting with Sandra. And so at least to start from a prospecting perspective, usually what it usually looks like is, you know, just starting with the basics, things like 
reaching out and seeing if she's interested. And so really actually what we have pre-built in this, and again, what we recommend is a drip campaign. So something that's already set up, all you'd have to do is say, okay, as soon as Sandra enters my pipeline here, that drip campaign turns on and she can automatically start receiving intro emails, just introducing yourself and saying, hey, let's jump on a call sometime to discuss your policy. Maybe you've done that. Maybe you've started the drip and you know you want to write some notes. You know, Sandra is amazing, you know, something like that. You can see in the bottom here, trying to schedule sometime next week, something like that. You know, you can put that in. And then when I scroll down here, my favorite areas in this is uh, at least in the prospecting stage is to put in a task maybe and say, you know, I got to follow up next week, let's say next week. And I can even integrate my inbox so that as I'm interacting and sending emails back and forth to Sandra, I can see all of those emails right there automatically, right? So that's what the email integration does. So if I go back there, I can see Sandra then actually can see that task that I set up. So I'm really kind of starting to build out this pipeline, these profiles of these people that I have. And then let's say I finally do get in touch with Sandra. So then, you know, I can skip over the attempted to contacts because maybe I just reach her the first time I try calling her. And so I can go straight to the contacted stage, right? So it's all very kind of click and drag. And again, what can happen as soon as you move to that contacted stage, you can send out an email or notification saying, hey, great chatting with you, looking forward to catching up next week or whatever you've kind of determined to be those next steps. So that's kind of the basic prospecting, but now it gets into the specific commercial side of things that I think is really quite exciting. And what that is, where I'm gonna start is when I have Sandra, maybe I had a phone call with her already, and now in my follow-up call, now I actually wanna get into some details of, you know, what kind of business she is in, or yeah, I mean, I think that's really the starting point. And so what I recommend, if you are on the phone with Sandra, you can come in here and click the manufacturing forms. This is built in Zoho forms. This is something that we've built. And again, we could share with you to collect the most basic information, basics and beyond, I would even say about Sandra and her business. And so, you know, starting with those basics, Sandra, the email, maybe I could put in a phone number here, you know, something like that. And so now I'm on the phone with Sandra and I'm able to kind of work through here and say, okay, what's the annual revenue, something like that. What do you expect in the next 12 months? And I can kind of go through from revenue, customer details, business history, all these different things about Sandra's business. And it's all right there, all organized for me. So I know exactly what I need to ask. And then to take it one step further, maybe you're on the phone with Sandra who says, this is all great, but I got to run. Can you send me the information that I need to collect? Well, you can say, yes, absolutely. You can do that. And so what I can do now is instead of just doing it myself, I can send it to Sandra. And so again, I already have this pre-built template. All I really need to do is maybe adjust some of the things and put in that link to that form that I just had. So all I really did was went here, copied this, and then pasted it in that URL, and I'm able to hit send. So now instead of me filling out with her on the phone, she has it in her hands and she can fill it out when it's most convenient for her. The cool thing about it is I go down here into my email section. If Sandra, this is what Sandra sees on her end when she clicks it, she can see that this information is already there. So it's a really nice way to collect this information in an organized and an automated way. I'm gonna complete the form and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the other side. Great, so Sandra's now completed the form and how I know that is when I look back on the profile that I have here. Now I have a policy in place, which is really cool. That's happened automatically now. As soon as Sandra's completed that form, I get this policy and now I can start tracking it. That's great. And so let's jump right into it here. What I recommend too is actually sending out an auto email right here. So instead of just getting that and then kind of doing your work, instead what you can do is as soon as that comes in, an email can go out to Sandra saying, hey, thanks so much. We'll let you know if you have any more questions, but if not, we'll be working with your carriers to get you a quote. And so that's obviously a nice customer service-esque bonus that you can do as part of this process. But now I'm here, now I have this. If I look at this policy that's come in, I, you know, just basically get the details. There's not gonna be a ton of stuff here because all of that stuff that Sandra's fill out is sitting in this attachment, right? So you can kind of go through and I can actually see all the different things that she's filled out, which is which is pretty cool. And so really what the next step that we see for most people is once that looks good, we're gonna hit information collected. And then what I can do is I can start reaching out to my different carriers. So I'm gonna create a brand new email. Again, we have a template specifically for this, a request for quote. 
and you can see what it says is basically saying hey please see attached the details for sandra our client and their manufacturing business maybe i'll say her coverage liability of three million so you know a lot of these types of templates we have to just make sure that they make sense uh, because there's some merge tags different things in that can you please provide a quote at your earliest convenience instead of of course going to San sandra i should have an underwriter here yeah, bob the underwriter i can click that hit send and I can do that now for each of my different carriers. And so the great thing about doing it specifically from the module here in the policy is that all those responses. So now when Bob here gets back to me, that response is going to be logged right here in the email section. So I'm going to have a full history, all the communications that I've ever had with my underwriters related to this policy in a single spot. It makes it very convenient for you and your team to see everything there. And so you can do that with multiple underwriters and they're all going to stack up in the single email section and then once that's all sent out you can hit underwriting with carrier and again that's a, maybe a nice opportunity to send out an auto email to your client to say hey we've sent this to the carriers but for you on your end now it's kind of in limbo to say okay where is everything and so that's when this tool of creating and tracking submissions really comes in so i've sent it all out and now i can come in here and say okay well where did i send it i sent it to maybe Wamanisa, let's say allstate and economical sure so i've sent it to these three places so i can put them all in and i can create these submissions and track them and so the point of it is is that as i get responses now so economical let's say gets back to me i can come in and i can be very specific and say okay, they charge me 1200 they can only provide a liability limit for two and a half million and the coverage start day will only be you know the 25th or something like that and i could even upload something and i could say okay let's just put in you know the sample file here and hit save and so now i can see that detail about economical i can also you know as time goes on come back here when i click this again it opens it up i can see there's economical again i could also then maybe i get a response from wawa and now they say you know 1350 so they're a little bit under but actually they also can't hit the three million liability requested just make i think that's 20 million but you know it's the same start date that they can start and i don't have an attachment for them yet so i can put that in and so you can see how you can start stacking these up and basically recording in a very easy and convenient way all these different responses that you have so every time i open this back up i can see those different situations and so then finally what is a good way thing to do at this point is to say okay now this is the time to share with my client right to show them what my different carriers have been able to provide to them as part of this process based on their information and so this is where i recommend doing a screen share or maybe a video recording like this or even just a screenshot we've seen people do but sharing this exact kind of view of all of their different options again usually it's not best to zoom because you can kind of walk them through all the different types of things that are happening here you can always if you need to expand this out and what that allows you to do is actually create more details about the submission to say you know whatever it might be you know only available if she's under you know a million dollars in revenue or something like that right i don't know but you can kind of make these different types of notes so you know exactly the specific details of the different policies or the different quotes that you're getting from your carriers and again, so you can present that easily to your client. Finally, you've presented this to your client, you've reviewed it and they say, okay, well, even though Economic was a bit more expensive, they cover me a little bit more, so I wanna do that. So we'll finalize that selection. We'll choose Economical. They'll say, are you sure you wanna choose? We'll say, yep, that looks good. And I'll close and refresh and you can see what's really cool is then all those details that Economical provided, the amount, the liability, the insurer, all that gets automatically populated in here and so that really kind of takes us to well we kind of did the proposal to client and so then just really it comes down to actually closing the policy after that so and that's something that's usually pretty straightforward once it's decided you have the document just a matter of binding that with the particular insurer so i hope that provides a little bit of insight we talked about well first off the basic prospecting after that, creating a form to go and collect that information, have it integrate right into the CRM. Going out, sharing that information with your different carriers with a pre-selected template, using the attachments uh, in the CRM. And then finally, once it's out there and then you get responses, being able to create and track those submissions. So to be able to 
organize it for yourself, but also present it to your client. And then once a decision is made, finalize it in the policy. So that more or less covers that there. If you do have any questions on this, please, of course, do let us know. But I hope this was informative. If you have any uh, anything else or any comments, again, below in the comment section is a great place to do it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.